The Reverend Jesse Jackson standing with some Milwaukee pastors in a fight with the city. The pastors say the city is taxing some of them and then taking their buildings. Jackson rallied at City Hall and then met with Mayor Barrett urging a moratorium. Jason Calvi tells us the mayor pledges to look into some changes now. Money back. Money back. Money back. Money back. Stop taxing tape. Reverend Jesse Jackson backing up Milwaukee pastors. That's not the city's money, that's God's money. Pastor Stephen Tipton leads Al Bethel Church of God in Christ on Good Hope Road. That church has a second property right here at 15th and Ring. This property went into foreclosure and the city acquired it in March. I had to come out and pay over $16,000 just to get, a ch get my church back that was fully paid for. The problem, in order to maintain their tax exempt status, the churches have to fill out a form every two years. But this form right here, three pages, four, well, four, four pages of information that we got to constantly prove and show that we are a church. Without submitting the form or for other reasons, the city adds them to the tax roll. In 2019, we got a tax bill for $22,000. And when taxes are not paid, the city can acquire oh, the church. Yes. Stop the tax and take of churches. Stop the tax. Tipton says it's time the form be eradicated. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett met with Reverend Jackson. And it's a, uh, the law of the city of Milwaukee and the state of Wisconsin. The churches are tax exempt. Barrett agrees to contact the city attorney to see if the mayor can unilaterally issue a moratorium on the city taking churches in foreclosure if they haven't filed the right form. I'm, I'm satisfied Mayor Barrett will do what he says he will do. Yes. Uh, I have regard for him. In Milwaukee, Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News. Jason, thank you. We have asked the city for numbers of churches who have faced taxes and foreclosures. We are waiting for that information. In the meantime, the city assessment commissioner, Steve Miner, says two church properties were foreclosed on in 2020, but both former owners now do have the properties back.